Maybe you have run into problem where your bullets are too fast for your good. They are moving so fast they phase through the wall. Well, I have a solution for you. A raycast bullet. But as a bonus you can give those bullets a ricochet so they can bounce off the walls. In this video we'll be creating this ricochet recast bullet and in description I have a bit more advanced example project which I will show you at the end of this video. For this to work it doesn't matter how you are moving your character or rotating it. Shooting is not the job for the player but for the gun. To know where to spawn our bullets we need a node 2D or position node 2D which is essentially the same thing but position 2D looks better in editor. We put it as a child to the node that will be rotated and it will give us the needed information for position or rotation. Call it gun and we also need auto load singleton. I like to call it events. Then add it to auto load and give it a signal spawn bullet. While we are here also add a function ready OS center windows because I hate when game's window is in the corner of my 4k screen. Let's create a folder for gun and give a script for our gun. Create a function that we will use for spawning bullets and call this function when we press a mouse button. Create scene for the bullet. We need 2D scene for this. Call it. Call it recast bullet. Save in its own folder. We need this to preload this scene in the gun. Create a variable bullet scene and preload this bullet scene into it. When spawning bullet we emit signal through event singleton and give some information for it. Such as bullet scene, position which is global position, direction that's global transform dot x, x and rotation, global rotation. Whatever bullet we are going to spawn this information is for the bullet to process, not the gun. Now we need to organize our level scene. I suggest creating a group node to organize uh, drawing order, so bullets get drawn behind the player. You can create a script for the level, or but this time we are dealing just with bullets, so I will create script for bullet spawn. For it we connect to event singleton, uh, signal spawn bullet, and we will create a function. Rated R. If you want to see Shaft, ask your mom. Method function spawn bullets. In method spawn bullets, we will receive scene for a bullet, global position, global direction of global transform.x, and rotation. We create a variable inst, for instance, it will be node2d and we assign scene instance. So we are creating a new instance of the bullet and setting up variables for it. I would like to clarify that I like using strongly typed variables and functions and in this case I'm creating a variable of type node2d. It might be true in this situation because my bullets are no 2D. But even if you are using kinematic body, it still is child class of no 2D and variable still will work. And same is for aria 2D. It is also a child class for no 2D. Typed scripting does not have performance boost in Godot 3.x, but it's easier for me to read the script but also editor can help me. Also becoming familiar with typed scripting will help uh, in Godot 4 where typed scripting is 
enhancing performance, instance position, instance direction and instance rotation. All bullets should have these variables, pos, di and rotation. And add this instance as a child for bullet spawn. Next let's create script for our bullet. As I said before, every bullet kind needs to have these variables for our spawner to work with it. If you are creating kinematic or area type bullets, uh, you could use ready function to set uh, global position and rotation, but in this situation, but in our situation, bullet stays on position 00, zero and is calling the physics world to know the situation around it. So we don't need this setup. Then we can create some variables for bullet, like speed. I like to have uh, easier to read speed per frame and I multiply it 60 times because I'm using delta on it. Variable for bounces, how many times it can ricochet from walls. We will need array variable for storing bullet trajectory line. For drawing we call method function underscore draw, check if trace line is not empty. Create for loop with index i in trace line size minus one because for drawing line we need two points. First point is vector two trace line i and point two is vector two trace line i plus one. And for color I'm choosing white. So draw line point one two point two and color. To trigger drawing we call function underscore process delta and this update function is triggering our draw method. To limit our bullet's lifetime, we can create a variable lifetime, this time I'm giving it 0.3 seconds and a variable for holding time. You can achieve this lifetime with uh, creating a ready function, yield get tree create timer or have a timer in your scene and on timeout signal way you free but later you might uh, use this time variable to, uh, to give variation for your bullets over time so in physics process we check if bounces are more than zero left and time is smaller than lifetime we call our bullet process this is this method where we are processing the movement but after that we increase the time by adding delta that's the time between each physics process in this situation but if time is bigger or equal than our lifetime way of free so removing our bullet from the game so when the bullet process is called this method is triggered for that we will need to get space state. For that we can call built-in function get world 2 d You can control click on it and read about it. Get world 2 d returns the world 2 d where this item is in. You can click there and read about it here. Class that has everything pertaining to a 2D world. Mainly we need physics 2D direct space state. This holds information how our physics body are moving and where they are placed in the physics world. We will need uh, some kind of variable that's holding movement length in that movement frame. We can use speed and as I said before we will use delta for frames per second independent movement speed. And we create a variable and that will hold uh, current end point for the line. We will append to trace line a current position, that's this variable, then create a dictionary for data because this will fetch information from physics space state. We will go through this while loop while remaining length will be longer than 0.001 and bounces are more than zero. So at the beginning of while loop we save the end point of our line, supposed line. It is position plus direction. If you remember, we passed this as uh, global transform.x. Direction times remaining length. And we are creating a dictionary data. We are fetching from space state we got here. And we are calling intersect ray. Let's check it. Intersect ray. Uh, mandatory are 
vectors from and vectors to. We are using just starting position and end position. We are casting array and checking. So it gives us back a dictionary, but it might not collide and create a situation when there's an empty dictionary. So we are checking if there's data, that means we have a collision. I'm creating a vector from spawn position to this uh, collision point. I'm normalizing it and moving uh, and multiplying it by 0.01. And by reducing this, I'm moving this end point a tiny bit back to the starting point. So it, it gets moved outside the collided collision shape. Our new direction vector will be changed by tier dot bounce. This is a method in vector 2 and check bounce vector 2 returns the vector bounced off from a plane defined by given normal. So we give it this collision normal and just to be sure normalized and reducing our bounces so we don't bounce infinitely. And then you can use data for collider. You can reduce health or to whatever you want or uh, create a smoke puff then it doesn't matter if we got collision we need to shorten our remaining length we can do that by subtracting and minus position dot length that way we can get magnitude of our vector 2 then we are moving our position to end point then we append trace line this new position and do this while loop however many times we need so in the end we get this effect move out and pew. As my suggest suggestion for your project is to utilize the time variable you have here and append it as an uh, array. That way you can use your drawing of the line influenced by this time to give uh, line segments the fade out or something like that. Here is example of what I did for example project and it's linked in description. It also has three different weapons. I'm using this. I hope you like this tutorial. Please leave me a comment uh, of your problematic mechanics. That could be interesting tutorial material. And go check out this example project. So see you next time.